Don't worry, it's fine. Games. Are you ready, kids? Oh yeah, Captain! I can't hear you! Oh yeah, Captain! Who, Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Just checking the audio. Give me a moment. Just a moment. Testing, testing, testing. There seems to be some video artifact. Let me try and deal with that real quick. I think that's better. I think that makes it. Now I must prep myself into position. Just gonna do one more quick check. If you'll give me one minute. No, I don't think anybody's here though. Don't think anybody's here. All right, sound check, sound check. Game could maybe stand to be a bit louder. That's fine, that'll do. Let's see. One more sound check. Testing, testing.
Well, I don't know, maybe it's still a little too quiet, I don't know. Uh, I definitely wish someone was here to tell me. But, but oh, wow. Hang on, I'm gonna just gain it just a little bit. And I'm sure that'll be, I'm uh, sure, I'm sure that'll be fine. I mean, I guess someone will probably tell me. Uh, now just one more sec. <laughs> Getting the regular headphones on. Found an alternate face cooling solution, so that's fun. That's good. Should be good we should be good to go for real anyway it's been a little bit since I streamed this game mostly because of the whole Mega Man thing I could technically go to the well you know what well I could technically go there now but let's let's go to Goo Lagoon first Gotta do this the stylish way. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. A sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Well, let me know about that. Let me, let me know how things are not well. Yeah, it's probably at a good audio level now. You can use the bubble bash. Press Y. Okay. Okay, so we're going to the beach. Already a checkpoint. Monsoon. Watch out for his lightning attack. Okay. 
Lightning averted. Clicky analog stick. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no, everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly, you can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way Boy, don't hot. I know it. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that Sounds robot. like a reasonable plan. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. Alright, well it doesn't matter. We are a video game character now, and we must partake in quests. Now let us partake, partake in a, partake in a sun puzzle. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. The best kind of puzzle. I'm not sure which one you gotta go for first. That one over there? Maybe. Prop my knee up right here. Oh, well, there's the butt. I mean, took it long enough. Now time to start the sun puzzle for real after I've wasted a little bit of everybody's path. We must reflect. Fresh like a spring breeze. Alright, good, good. The game audio might be overpowering my voice. Dang it, I upped it too much. Whoop. Where'd I put my controller? Oh, there it is. How's this? Is this alright? How's this sound? How does this sound? We're still early on, it's, it's fine. We can have some audio issues. I mean, I can lower it uh, further if it needs to be. Just let me know. Failure of puzzle. More failure of puzzles. But yeah, like, just let me know. Feel free to nitpick. I'm, I'm fine. I'm a man. I can handle it. I mean, maybe that's what we gotta do. Now we must reflect from here. Nope. 
Fun puzzle. Oh, that's it. I guess that one over there is merely a decoy. Lightning once again deflected. Dang, the chat. Dealing with the chat this way is a bit of a problem, I will say. Very distracting. This is like a Patrick puzzle. So I guess we gotta come back here once we got him. Oh, well. Perfect justice plan. Children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. <laughs> bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Oh yeah, it's it's maybe a little too loud. I lowered it by a heck of a lot, but uh, so far my uh, barely in the yellow strategy has not failed. Just, just tell me what you think. Like, it's kind of a pain, especially when you have a game like this that's a little bit inconsistent with its sound mixing. So I lowered it by quite, quite a lot. Uh, maybe too much, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's eating. Problem is, it's hard for me to know. Okay, come here, come here. Come here. There you go. There's a robot down there. And you gotta do a puzzle. I think only the only the bubble bash will work. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Well, crisis averted, I guess. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Suck. All right, so I guess it would be a good idea to go back and do uh, that uh, Patrick puzzle back there. Maybe, maybe. 
Don't know how that worked, what I just did there. But it did. So I guess that's all that matters. So yeah, if there's anybody still around, is this good? Is this, uh, is this volume good? Problem is, I I'd monitor myself, but it makes it very hard to actually talk. Because you're having to talk over your- I messed up. Because <laughs> you're having to talk over yourself. Alright. Like I said, just though, if- If it's ever, like, too quiet to hear the characters compared to me, then, you know, really, do let me know, because... Because I, I appreciate nit, nitpicking, but but I'll I'll try stop trying. I'll try to stop caring so much about that and actually play the game. Okay, so it's some kind of platform challenge on flying beach towels. Well, I mean, technically speaking, it's not flying if you're underwater, is it? It's just kind of they become. They become suddenly more buoyant. Oh. Uh, oh no! <laughs> okay, but I can I can come back here at least. I don't think there's any lives in this, so I should be good. Sometimes those send me up higher than normal, and I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, it's not like a springy one, it's just sometimes the physics get physics. Oh yeah, another another audio problem is we could get a decent oh hey no name. Oh no, that's not water, that's a goo. Don't be silly, my friend. Oh dear. Okay, gotta be a little patient with this one. But we got it, got... Got a sock as Patrick that we will later give back to Patrick. Oh. Well, it don't really matter. Character switching probably gonna become a bit more liberal at this point in the game. First two levels, we dealt with those, so. Yeah, the thing about licensed games like this, this is a pretty good game, I think, but the thing about licensed games with this is that the collisions, you know, it's awfully, it's, it's usually a little weird. Just a little weird. Okay, so I'm not sure, but I think we might want to turn back to Spongebob. Yeah, man, I'm all the time saying, you know, why buy Odyssey when you can play Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom? That was a joke, by the way. Definitely play Odyssey. It's very good. Send me my check, Nintendo. Alright, so we just got that w one other kid we want to get in this area. I'm sure there's a good way to speed, like, sort of glitch your way over to that island early. If you were dedicated enough. Alright, where does that, where does that kid go? What's his trajectory? What's his path? Oh. There we go. Almost fell into the water, that kid. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, death is imminent. <laughs> no, we, we avoided disaster. So let's go back here. My hero! You saved the children! <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Alright, that's all the dialogue. 
Mrs. Puff's kind of all over the place this game, isn't she? Can I uh, get back on that? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's a way. Yeah. Could I, like, get a goo boost? Probably not. Oh, well. Well, I could probably do this, and then this, and then this, which is, you know, enough of a shortcut to satisfy me. Alright, so I guess this way now. Yeah, that makes sense. Is that like an actual, like, dragon or something? I I always thought it was like an inflatable, but it might be a real dragon. I don't know what that's doing here. Ow. Okay, this is, this is sort of a puzzle. So you can get a sock over here. There's a, a secret I remember over here, but I don't remember how do. So give me a minute. Hmm. I feel like you could uh, do something with those, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Now let's just destroy that to get the shiny objects now that we're done with that. Like, I swear, I thought you could do something with that sand castle. That so, what are you supposed to be? Hi, uh, y y Yoshin, Yoshin. I'm a starfish. What are you? I'm a figment of SpongeBob's imagination. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense to me. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Okay. I swear I thought you could do some of this. Maybe it's just for the visual gag. Sand castle. All right, get in there. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Rising water. Rising, must get to higher. Okay, there's a sock there. Got to remember that. Okay, focus, focus time. Got to do speedy platforming challenge. Speedy platforming challenge. Speedy dying. Maybe I was too speedy. Oh, but there's there's checkpoints. Thing is, the water resets, so uh, there's notably less pressure. Eh, figured it was worth a shot. Yeah, it was worth a try. No, I can't. 
Can't shortcut it. I don't guess. Oh, well. Oh no, beach balls. You could please not. That would be ideal. All right, so there's a spot somewhere over. Here. Oh, get vertigo. There's a spot somewhere over there. You know the spot. There. Oh, looking. Oh, there's something there. I think that's for Patrick, but I'm sure. A well-aimed SpongeBob could also do the job. I mean, maybe I'm not. I'm not sure, but it's possible. But there's something over here. One sock. You just met the Spongeinator. God, oh, geez, camera is vaguely nauseating. Oh, there you go. Other sock. Now can I? Uh... Yeah, quick warp. I love quick warp. Oh, no. <laughs> Not as quick a warp as I was hoping for. This leads me to the start of the mission, not the end of it. Pardon me. Okay, so gotta do that again. Or, does the water actually rise? I, n I don't think it actually rises anymore. I think the water rising was just that one-time thing. I mean goo. Come on, SpongeBob, it's goo. You gotta get with it. Get with it, lad. Stick. You gotta stick to your own terminology. No shortcuts, gotta take it the long way around. Okay. Oh, but there's other stuff that I want to check out. Like, I want to kind of check out down here. All right, I, I did it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Paid the clam mid-death. Well, thank you for informing me about Twitter. Her, her. All right, yeah, so it stays got. All right, don't want to get that checkpoint, actually. But I can keep grinding this thing for a shiny object. Not really. If there's a way to like 
superimpose the chat onto a screen. That would be wonderful. I don't think there is, but if there was, it would be wonderful. That's how it is in this world. You either kill or be killed. Or pay money to a clam. Herp. Herp. Can I get it? Oh. Oh. It's not even there. I don't think I can get it, so I guess just gotta come back as Patrick. I mean, maybe you could jump down there as Patrick. I mean, I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing me go along this castle by now. But I mean, there's 100% to get items to obtain. That's the thing about a collectathon. If you're not obtaining items, what are you doing? No, it seems like there's not a, uh, a bus stop up here. It seems that maybe I was mistaken. Alright, Goo Lagoon Sea Caves. Oh no, wait, I should have entered this and then got the warp from whatever mission's Hello, in here. Barry. What's new? Don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Wow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. All right. So I assume we got a mission for that. Yeah. So we can just warp there now. I should have done that to begin with. But what you going to do? Nothing now. It's too late. Alright, so we can go back and uh, get whatever this thing is with Patrick. Except we can't, uh, we can't do an upwards attack. So we just gotta run from this guy. Alright. Now do this mission, uh, this, uh, bounce thing, challenge, oh, that's, that's not a bounce, that's not a bounce, looks like it would be, but it's not. Oh. Alright, it is a, it is a golden spatula. I don't remember the spatula being in the game, but you know, life's full of surprises like that through the sea caves. Oh, and it automatically switches me to SpongeBob. How nice of it. And you gotta contend with the rising and falling water levels. And there's like a something down here. It's a sock. Oh, and I'm a fool. Oh, they added some new spatulas in the up. That, that must have been when they added a uh, to Teleview SpongeBob. Honestly, though, if they re-release this game, I wouldn't say no to some like DLC content for it. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Nickelodeon. I want to say Nintendo. Come on, Nickelodeon. There's some money to be made here. Just get. Then again, Heavy Iron, I think, went defunct. Which is a shame, really, because they did they did some pretty okay stuff. No, no, actually, now that I think about it, they might not have. I think it's just THQ that I'm thinking of. Though, I think their recent work has been nothing of real uh, significance, at least not to me. Okay, definitely want to get up there, however you do that. Uh, 
Okay, get it up off of that. Hit, hit. It might be a Patrick thing, I don't know. I remember a lot about this game, but not everything. Okay, no. Yeah, you gotta lower some... Oh, so it was due to the drawing tablet? What, really? Well, rest in peace, THQ. Well, I mean, I already knew they were dead, but I didn't... I didn't know that the drawing tablet was the cause of the demise. But I think, I think Heavy Iron might still be in the game, but they haven't done a whole lot. If someone wants to check Wikipedia... And, like, tell me if Heavy Iron's been doing anything... You know, confirm or deny, that would be great, but, you know, no pressure. T-H-Q Hmm Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you get up there Just yet. Uh, you guys Like Maybe you could do Platforming. No, you could probably do platforming across those tiki's Maybe can you get can I get up there? Oop. Oh. Okay, I'm on this rock now. That's fun. Yeah, that's probably not. <laughs> I like that detail of the ca of the caveman SpongeBob. But yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, just you guys make a mental bookmark of that for me, please. Unless, uh, this button over here does something with it. Oh yeah, because there's a sock there too, so... I guess I'm probably gonna have to thoroughly explore this as Patrick in a little bit. Maybe I could go back and see what I can do with Patrick. Yeah, there's a, some ice at the end here. So I guess activate the box. Oh yeah, because I think you gotta be Patrick for the next area anyway. So let's just, uh, get that. Uh, it bounced off of everything, but that's okay. Uh, check around. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Patrick is dead. All right, where am I? Where the heck am I? <laughs> oh, I'm right here. I have no idea if this is at all entertaining to watch, but you know, I'm doing it. We're scoping this place out as Patrick. Alright, alright, now one more direction I'm gonna check out. I mean, I don't think Patrick gets any new moves. I could be wrong. Spongebob does, but I don't think, I think Patrick basically stays where he is for most of the game.
Hmm. Or maybe... Oh, no, wait. I have an idea. I, I know. I think I know what I gotta do here. Maybe. It's, it's possible that I... Hmm. It's a jump. Maybe... Are you supposed to make that jump? Well, I mean... I guess it should be doable. Oh. Timing was not exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Mm, that's that's the idea, but it's not gonna reach from there. Maybe I gotta like I can't jump while I'm holding anything, I don't think, so. So it would have to be SpongeBob. Yeah, it would. It would. It would have to be. Or it would have to. It would have to be like from the other way or something. I'm not sure what I'm talking about anymore. But, like, I think I'm supposed to hit those Thunder Tiki's up there. But, I'm not sure what, what, maybe with an enemy over here? Maybe, I, or maybe I'm supposed to take something with me while it's, uh... Oh, wow, Patrick... Oh, no, Patrick can just make it up here, I think. I don't know, well, maybe SpongeBob could have. And I was just doing it wrong, but... Yeah, so just do that. Don't know if that's the intended way to go about this, but it worked. Nice uh, <laughs> cave painting that's kind of coming off of the wall there. It, it's just it's just Doodle Bob. Sock obtained. Again, don't know if that's how they wanted me to do it, but that's how I did it, so... Might have said cave painting, cave, uh, etching, cave... Whatever, it's a, it's a picture of Spongebob on a wall. All right, finally. Okay, don't worry guys, we're going out of the caves. The stage is a bit more linear than the others, I think. All right, this guy's having a good time. Sorry, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. All right, Patrick has nothing to say about that. So I guess he is in. I don't really understand that chain of events, but... But yeah, I like I like this part of the game. This is a this is a good area. Want to take that out real quick? Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I, I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. All right. There's a lot, there's a lot of things to do here. Alright. 
Uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with this just yet. I think there's something to coming down here, but I don't know what it is. Now you must defeat the lunch meat, and uh, you can play whack a -tiki. You can play like a, a mini game here. I forget if this gives you any considerable reward. Oh yeah, you really just want it to hit the button, not to uh, throw it at the tiki. Might just be a way to grind some shiny objects. One watermelon! Fresh from the manure fields. Yeah, this might just be a way to grind uh, shiny objects. Any others? Oh, oh no, no, wait. No, you get a sock for that, so I'm glad I stuck with it. Let's check behind here. Oh, oh. You can just climb all over this. Like I said, it's got that, you know, famous licensed game climb all over everything collision. Where it's like if you see it, you can stand on it, I'm sure. And these cups can actually hurt you if you hit them the wrong way. Which is just dandruffle. Just wonderific. Port ahead. Oh, I like that joke. That's a good joke. What, what was that noise? <laughs> Alright, and as the game, I'm sure, will tell me, SpongeBob needs the Bubble Bowl power if he wants to deal with this, which he does not have yet, but we can come back later and play this, like, ski ball minigame. It might give you a sock if you do good, I don't know. We could stick with Patrick for a little bit. Kind of the thing about a collect-a-thon sort of game, it's... It's kind of open-ended. You never really know what you... Never really want to know what you want to do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crap. Well, it gave me a fanfare. Hey, what just happened? My thoughts exactly, Patrick. Oh, uh, it gives you a sock. And I think it's safe to switch to SpongeBob now. Yeah, I know. I, I'm here. I read the sign. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. And now uh, we got to do a bungee. Well, we don't got it, but I, we're gonna. Something weird's going on with the skybox, I think. Well. Ultimate 
Okay, I don't know if I want to break these or what, but I'm gonna. Oh, oh, boop. Oh, boop. There we go. Okay, got it. I thought it was a sock, but I got a spatula. Well, this is kind of a roundabout way of doing an elevator, I guess. The extreme slide challenge. Which we're gonna do, of course. I mean, they obviously intend for you to avoid those, but, you know, I, I kind of want the shiny objects what be inside. Hmm. I'm not sure if there was really a point to that, but it was fun and we did it. Oh, and there's a hidden sock up here. So clearly the developers meant for you to do some of this. Alright, yeah, it's clear what they want me to do here. Alright, let's do it. Job complete. I swear, I I, th I thought I just heard a Discord noise, but I don't think I don't think that's the case. Okay, now we could go over there, but we don't want to do that yet because there are hidden goodies everywhere. I mean, I don't know. There could be something over here. Oh. And Patrick lived out the rest of his days here. Alright, wasn't anything notable that way. Okay, not sure what that was about. We can use this to go farther, even farther beyond. Did a robot just detect me from above? That was that was weird. Well, let's, we could check a little bit in this direction. Now, it doesn't seem like they intend for you to go this way. It needs to quit doing that. It's trying to fake me out. Oh, and all the... I especially think you're not supposed to come over here, because I think these are all the tiki's for the minigame. Okay, that was that was a fun glitch to happen for a moment there. We get ice cream now. No. Alright, and I think we've just about done a full circle around the level at this point.
Oh, but we gotta report back to Mr. Krabs, I just remembered. Don't worry, we got quick warps. Alright, now when it comes to actually getting that back to everyone, then they're, they're on their own there. That was a speedrun strat. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! King of the beach! Okay, now we gotta fetch that one from Mr. Krabs, I guess. And then I think, well, I think we about got it. Here is your reward. Well, I guess yeah, that's quick enough. Wait, there's like a big old message. Oh, uh, it's a Discord message. That's why it wasn't showing up here. So I want to go to connect the towers. That's that's the one that should warp me back to the Larry. All right, now just you know we just want to wait. All right, so we got we're missing quite a few socks in Jellyfish Fields. It turns out. Oh, and we're missing a whole spatula there. Yeah, I remember why. But we got them all here. We got all the, the, the socks here, so that's good. I don't think I've ever gotten all the socks. Maybe I'll go back and do it this time. I don't know. It'd be nice to get actual 100% on this game for once. Kind of like Mario Sunshine with the blue coins, isn't it? Alright, anyway. Time for the first proper boss. I mean, I guess unless you count King Jellyfish. Oh, bumped into the microphone. here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Okay, get ready for sick music. Sicker than this game has any right to have. But yet it has every right. Looks like the robot left itself vulnerable. Great barrier reef. Oh, I'll look down. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea, Jones. Now the robot's taking a beating out there. Oh, yes. I love the pun of the suck. Again, Mr. Mugman, 
It's it's just like a like an unrelated server. It's an unrelated server. I'm debating not having the messages show up in here, but it's useful to know when uh the robot's losing it. It's useful to know when the bot has notified people. What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Sparring! The old clothesline move. For once, there's buzzing, and it's not my fault. Oh, 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 it didn't hit. It did not hit. It did not hit. There we go. Captain Coconuts is a guy in the Discord, but it's not like a Discord for the streams, which is why I'm not uh, given a public link for it. Sparring the old clothesline move. Line move. Whoa, ho. what an opening for a guy literally filled with openings. Oh, what an uppercut. I feel like this this fish is just doing the commentary for me. I like that uh, King Neptune and the announcer fish are both in the crowd. This match is just about over. This match is just about over. Thank you, Elaine's boss. It's a new power, the bubble bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. All right. 
Well, we're glad we don't have to worry about that anymore. Anyway, got a new move. You can do this now. A good move it is. <clears throat> oh lord. Anyway, there's some stuff we can deal with out here. Like we can do things like this. Oh, and there's a golden underpants. Which will increase our maximum underpants. Uh, just play the mark. Oh nope. I like that you can hurt yourself in a in the fountain there. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button, and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bolt only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. No, actually, I think he did at one point. It, it was it wasn't it the one where it, it might have been Plankton's debut. And Plankton's just like, well, we're both in reds, aren't we? But I mean, keep in mind, non-friend doesn't mean enemy. Alright. So I guess first thing we want to do... I want to go into Sandy's tree dome. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking. Them there robots busted a slash SpongeBob. I got a treehouse top full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. Wow, ornery. Oh. Uh, whatever that is, I, I don't know if I can see it right this second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, now I can check it out. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> A good reaction image, if ever I've seen one. All righty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think it, it does have previews. It might have an option, I'll have to check later. But, uh... Even if it doesn't, though, I might consider making that an emote. That's a good emote. SpongeBob is dying because there's no water. I don't remember if you get something for doing this. Thing is, you get you get socks for really dumb reasons in this game. Oh, well, I guess there's really nothing to it besides an Easter egg. I mean, I could be wrong. It's possible. Don't worry, we're we're leaving. We're leaving. See, now he's fine.
gold team rules. All right, the bikini bottom, like the police station, I'd assume. And this, yeah, you basically step on this and you can get like bios of robots that you've seen. Oh my God, my leg. Oh my God, my trash can. Oh, jeez. Uh, why does my right leg fall asleep every time? Okay, I'm back. Alright. You, you, I'm sure you guys have read that. That's the most vicious smack attack, hands down. Expert put masseuse, lemon squeezer, and does delightful hand puppet shows. Annoying missile attack. You got that right. Likes to throw tantrums and other various military grade ordinance. Not terribly friendly. Bot follow you. Go boom. This is just the bot to get for the friend you like least. Impressive meat byproduct attack. Smarter than it looks. Goes well with broccoli and a nice sh shianti. Shocking electrical attack. Rather sensitive. Reads poetry, likes plants, and enjoys zapping wandering denizens. Uncanny flying tartar sauce attack. Somewhat better than stale fish. Alright, that's basically the point of here. How long's this stream been going on? I don't know. So, do you want to trade some that's quality crusts? Sure, why not? Should probably give Patrick his socks, by the way. But you know what? We'll we'll hold on to him for just a little bit. We're not really hurting for golden spatulas anyway. Do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, would I? Okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the Chum Bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now, back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! Adam West doesn't actually voice Mermaid Man normally, it's Ernest Bordenheim.
Yeah, Adam West voiced a younger version of him in a in a newer episode, but the the that one, you know, the older Mermaid Man, is voiced by Ernest Borgnine. So, so yeah, the Mermaid. Mermaid Man in Monocle Boy, Superhero Man. Mermaid Man in Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my. All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, you told me to come down it's here. It's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Alright, I'm reading what you're saying. You don't have to throw, like, a, you know, a, a hissy fit about it or anything. But don't step on the red disco. And now we must bowl. Oh, I think I just got a text. Right, yeah, like I'm, I'm reading what you're saying. I just don't always have anything to say about it, you know. Like, it's, it's not an, it's not an act of spite or anything. Mm, this is tough to hit. Oh, what? Where's, where's my, where's, where's what I'm looking? What? Where is the anything? Mermaid man and barnacle boy. Well, if it spawned a reward, I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, don't touch the electricity. I don't think it has, but I haven't kept up with the new ones that well. It's just saying, hey, here's a new enemy you gotta use your new attack to be able to beat. Fuck. 
But you actually don't have to, I don't think. It is not mandatory. Oh. <laughs> of course, things like that can happen. And generally when things like that happen, it's it's not good. I mean, I can't use the bubble ball on him from over there. There we go. I do. Wait, how do you get to that? Oh wait, I know, I know. All right, come on, a little bit further. No, am I? Can it not go any further? Or am I just not hitting it? No, it can go. Keep going. Keep going. You gotta hit it just so. It's a delicate place. Yeah, I don't think I remember that sock being there. Maybe that's why I didn't get all the socks. Oh, brr. Pardon me. Yeah, this move is a little touchy sometimes. Or rather, when you gotta hit a target with it, it is. When you're just fighting robots, then, you know, it's, it's alright. There we go. All right, Cappy, I didn't think of that. Okay, so if you if you hit that button, the invisible boat mobile appears. And funny thing is I once had a friend try to convince me that if you got into it before it disappeared, that you could actually drive it around. Which is not even close to true, I'm sure you can guess. Which Zelda game was that? Skyward Sword? To be honest, I feel like that would fit as a move in Breath of the Wild. About as well as anything else, I guess. Breath of the Wild 2, the bomb bowling one. I'm not sure if you want to do this for any particular reason, but you can. The Mamalea main chamber. No, I saw it about now. Yeah, well, the Mermelade. I guess that would be about 30 seconds. of the wrinkly superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Well, I mean, technically speaking, I receive it instantly. You just don't... Squidward, hit. am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Well, yeah, technically, I received the yes instantly. It just takes, like, it takes a little while for you to, like, receive my response to it. But, I mean, now I'm just kind of getting pedantic, aren't I? Alright, so this is also a pretty neat level, I think. Hello? 
Hello. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. <laughs> I mean, they tend to explode. <laughs> Uh, no face cam for the time being. Maybe one day, but not, not today. But here, I will paint you a picture. Uh, very dark brown hair. Slight beard. Slight. Uh, I don't know how to paint a better picture. That's the best picture you're gonna get, I guess. I have a nose. A nose is within my possession. But... Okay, gotta wait for it to respawn. Can I do a what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Why can't I do live in Twitch? I, I am. I am live on Twitch. And also on Smashcast. This fruit is very misaligned. Oh, oh man, they I tend to explode. Let's try that other one first. That one's a lot easier. This is the tricky one right there. Because you're on YouTube. I understand. Yes! It counts. You did it! Now I can get some sleep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! How old am I? Uh, 20. Well, that worked out great. power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. 
Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Oh, and there's those buttons around everywhere. All right, so what state am I in? That's classified information. Anyway, you like these puzzles? You like the turn thing puzzles? I sure do, and I think I just solved it. Nope, no, actually I didn't. Okay, we're, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get it. I'm already confused. Reset. reset. Okay, now here's where we get tricky. What we want to do is we want to kind of set up a situation here where we can, uh, God, I'm so terrible at these puzzles. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. And then we want to, uh, one thing, now I'm confused again. Do you have Super Mario Sunshine? Yes, I do. It's a very lovely game. And can I play it? I play into it at some point. Maybe not, maybe not for a little bit, but at some point. Hang on, hang on. I might, oh, I almost have something, almost had something here. Oh, no, wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I think I got it. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Ah, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Makes sense to me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, frankly, this is the first interaction we've ever had, so I don't- I'm not- I'm not so sure about that. Nothing personal. Activated. Just kidding, wall. Well, then that's okay then. Ah, uh, no, not this guy. Oh, okay. He has been dealt with. Left wall jump back. Oh yeah, because we gotta set that up over there so that I can actually use that. Hmm. Uh. 
Aren't they supposed to have a different noise? Is... Am I going insane? I don't think they're supposed to make that noise. Oh, no. Okay. Rotating bowling. Okay, that should be enough. Sock. Yes. Okay, then. Ah, uh, no. Create anybody but that guy. It's alright, I've done it. And now we may climb to the heavens. Or at least just up here. It shines. All right, no, no fanfare. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the button. Got it. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Well, I mean, he's repeating, so clearly he is. And I think there's a glitch you can do, where, like, uh, once you hit all these buttons... Yeah, you get... you get to go over here, but I think if you jump... You can like, yeah, you can just barely make it. I, I won't do that because I'm going to get the rest of them anyway. But you can do it. So a little bit of an easy sequence break. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Oh, you took the elevator. Uh, how do I get to the top of this room? Meow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. All right. I'm starting to... I'm starting to get a little hungry and losing my mind. A little bit. You know what those Snickers commercials always tell me? My, uh, my copy may in fact be Scratch. Just, a uh, just a little bit. Man, I don't know why they install all these disco floors. Doesn't really inspire me to dance. Does it inspire you to dance? Wait a minute, man. Barnum will go, boy. Get better disco floors. Just gonna ignore that guy for the rest of all time. I don't know, I might, I might, like, uh, stop it, like, midway through this level, I'm not sure yet. Lord, I don't know, this, uh, this copy of Spongebob Battle Land Adventure has been in the family for generations. And by that, I mean, I just, I don't know, I got it when I was little. 
and uh, I don't I don't remember where it came from. It just appeared one day. It, it's kind of funny how many games I have that just you know they just entered my possession one day. I don't I don't know how they got here. One day they were just here. That's all I know how to say. Yeah, take the upper path. First, you get... Oh, there's a switch. This game is pretty great. I will say. Yeah, I have uh, more followers on Twitch, but it's not a huge number. But you know, I'm I'm all right with that. I don't need to. Ah! I don't need to be no, you know, poo pie or nothing like that. You know. No, please, no, no, yes! I have no idea how I managed to survive any of that. How do I, how do I get back? I wanna go back, get in the box, get, get in the box. My legs falling asleep again, that's great. Oh no, the rolling ball area. Ooh, the area I have come to dread. Look, boy! There's gold under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. And this is basically some kind of puzzle. Some kind of ball puzzle. So we have to get the track to where the ball will be successfully delivered to where it needs to be. And some of these are temporary, but I'm just gonna buy them. Uh, no, th no, this Spongebob is, is... I don't think I say that's for sale. However, I don't think it's a terribly rare game. I mean, I haven't checked in a while, but, you know... I don't think it costs too much. Probably find it on Amazon. <laughs> what does that one do? It raises the hammer. All right. And then you kind of have to do a rolling, you gotta roll here. There's a sock hidden back here. Just ever so casual. Giant glove. Not even at Glove World. And then, like, there's a fan. How do you hit that switch? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, gotta start sometime. Well, no, I guess you don't want the fan. I'm... Uh, this part confused me. Let's just get the, the... You know, so to speak, let's get the ball rolling. Oh, 
Oh, okay. What do we? What do you do now? What do you do about this? What do you do? What is that? I don't know. Where's like? Where do you deal with that? You gotta bubble bowl the stone part. No. Oh, you mean you mean like that? Oh yeah, there you go. Thank you, Jimmy. I had forgotten. Oh no, we gotta we gotta do it. Gotta do it now. What? Oh, and that that went back. Gosh dang it. Ba ba bo bo. Fun times. Fun times. Is it coming through? I'll get to that stereo. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! Skin of your teeth, that one. Skin of my, skin of my teeth. Oh, 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 I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Okay, I gotta kinda go up there in advance. Good to know. I'm going to go in advance, got to go in advance. Oh, oh, too, too advanced. Uh, yes, I do wear glasses. Most of the times. Oh, I, I keep waiting too long to do that. I need to not not do that. I oh, mean, this part kind of has a reputation for a reason, I guess. Wait till it gets roughly on there and now do it. Now, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna want to do this little. Well, maybe when I tried to do it, but it didn't work. Okay. There you go. Now we want to rush ahead. Oh. 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 No. No. Okay, gotta go down, gotta go there even more in advance. Oh lord, this part. This part is a part. Like, don't even check to see if the ball made it. You don't have time. You don't have time to be for silly things like being sure. Okay. Gotta do it just way ahead of time. Super Mario World. All right, now you gotta kind of direct it away. Oh no no no! 
This part is like the worst part of the game, or at least the hardest. You speak the truth, the freak 0210. You speak the truth indeed. Oh no, 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 no. The only time to check to see if it makes it. I mean, I've... Uh, I've played it before. I've, uh... Gotten close to 100% on this game before, so... You know, I, I know somewhat of my way around it. Thankfully. Though, I do think this is probably the most annoying... Uh... Most annoying spatula to get up. Oh, that might be it. Oh, do you gotta? I guess you gotta activate the fan before it does the thing. I think my previous playthroughs, I've just kind of blocked this part out of my memory. All right, we're, we're, we're getting a little bit farther each time. Ain't no way Mr. Krabs is getting that golden spatula instead of us. Oh, well, I'm probably. Oh no, 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 no! It made it. It made it. Gotta run. Gotta run. All right, move. All right. Slightly to the left now. Slightly to the right. Slightly to the right. I don't think any of the missions in the game give me quite as much grief as this one. Oh hey, the Miles is here. The one and only, except no imitators. It, it, like, you don't want to do it too much. What happened? Oh, there it goes. And thank God that flew <laughs> Now to die instantaneously. We can finally move on. It shines. I can't say I blame you, Miles. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. 
Now press the master shutdown button. Thank you. Well, oh. All right, the secret has been revealed. There is a hidden barnacle boy within the computer. All you have. All you. All right. But. All right, now that's how you're supposed to get over there. How we doing? Oh yeah, just the one left. And then that'll probably be the end of the stream. I'm gonna go get some meat. Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's VCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken. Lord, I don't know. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray! The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! When your OC is more powerful than an actual character in a fan fiction or something, I don't know. And now we must conquer Prawn with our new move we conveniently just got. Even when under attack, SpongeBob can appreciate the enemy's pun name. Got it. Oh, no, don't got it. And people say Castlevania has bad knockback. Holy cow. I can beat Ninja Gaiden. SpongeBob has prepped me.
Don't tempt me, man. I will do it. I will stream Ninja Gaiden. That game's pretty good, though. It's obnoxiously hard, but it's very good. I enjoy it. this game. Anyway, I guess that's all for that. Um, kind of stop it. Oh, only four socks this area. Next ep- next stream. Next episode of the stream. Next stream episode. I guess we're going to Sand Mountain. Wait, where? No, actually, we're going to rock bottom because apparently that's first in the list, even though it's the one that requires golden spatulas, not this one. But yeah, for now, I'm done. I'm hungry and my butt hurts, so uh, stream's done. Stream. Oh, stream's done. I turned off the GameCube.